Hello and welcome back to Expeditions and Mud Runner game. We are jumping back into Arizona. We have so many expeditions still to do, as well as all the extra contracts and free roam stuff. This this game is is huge. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I can't lie. But today we're going to head out to Coconino, and I think we're going to go with a Terra Scout geological expedition. We've not done any for the Terra Scout. We've got one here and we've got one to do in uh, Grand Canyon, but we're going to start with this one. And it is the Mystery of Red Water. One of our water reservoirs has taken a concerning red hue. While the water's colour may change for many different reasons, we need to investigate this case to evaluate risks. We'd like you to deploy a hydro monitoring system to determine the source of the red water. So, difficulty's normal. It's... Uh, Two and a half thousand meters. I thought it was kilometers. Clearly not. That would be massive, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> Off-road truck and uh, watery terrain. Take a hydrologist specialist and take some hydro monitoring equipment. Uh, Prepayment is just under four grand. Total payment is just under twenty-six grand. Upgrade is a rock crawler, crawler kit and a gateway to Sonoran Desert. So we'll open up another map. We haven't even been to. Uh, well wet yet and we've got jobs to do there uh use a jack screw less than three times is a thousand uh, take less than 25 damage from the from tire swamp from the tire swamp hmm intriguing don't know what that is so let's get a crack so off-road truck so shall we we haven't used it in a while shall we use the step i think that would be a uh, a welcome change and we'll check and see Ooh, what we got here something new we'll put searchlight on well like the little sun visor we might go with that I thought we already had that on And on the roof, we've got a spot. Well, we can't have both. Well, we've got the rack anyway. Now we've got a spotlight mount on. And let's have a little look. I think, and um, got a comment um, by Misha in the uh, in a previous video a few days back about uh, when you add or change uh, suspension you lose all your add-ons everything resets and gets gets taken off so you have to remember to do that uh, we can go with a medium reserve so we can get rid of that one nerf bars we're good with Sp uh, spare wheel mount we can't have the spare wheel mount if we've got the back on exhaust I think I'm fine with that. Rims and frames, flatbed, modular platform. I'm not quite sure what that does. A modular cargo solution that provides both a short flatbed platform for frame module installation and a short side bed. So, what else can you add with that then? Because it doesn't really anyone else do it. Perhaps when they unlock, perhaps we can put like a radar or a small Kung or something like that on the back there. Hmm. Intriguing, intriguing. We don't need that. So we'll, 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 we'll keep that as it is. But we've got an exclamation mark there as if there's something new and I couldn't see it. I'll have another look. We've gone through everything. There was an update. Um, today as well. So what that's all about, I don't know. Might just be the rims. Upgrades itself. We can now high range fine tune. I might go with the fine tune. We've been using the fine tune in the pug, and I've been doing all right with it. So we'll go with that. I would like that. We need to go. Oh, shaky ground to get the off road. Suspension stock lift kit so that was when we lost everything i think 
Now we have UOD threes now, so we'll uh, fit those two sets of them. We'll sell them. The winch on the twin motor, which is going to pull us more engageable diff lock, and our snorkel. Hopefully, is going to be enough for this uh, this water that we're going to go in. All right. So that should be good. Cargo. We need to make sure we've got the hydro monitoring system. I'm going to take extra fuel and parts just in case. We'll take two jacks, two of those. I'm happy with that. And then we're going to have our hydrologist. We'll take Anwar with us. And then we have our mechanic. We always take Mike the mechanic with us. And I think we're going to take Lance. Again, Misha has been chatting with me about Lance. Now, I thought Lance didn't work unless we had that cargo drone. But apparently we could have just gone out with Lance and picked stuff up. So we're going to take him with us. And we're going to see if we can do some of that picking up with the drone while we're out as well. So that's our crew. Our outgoings is uh, five and a half grand of our own money. But this is a pretty well paid job. So let's get out there. And I'm thinking while we're out here, we're going to try and uh, grab one or two of these other jobs because I don't think this one is going to take us all too long. I don't think. Because we've got all this extra stuff. Look at all these extra jobs around us. Um, lost cargo out here. We've got helping. We've got lost cargo again. There's so much going on. On the golden path. Here, look, we've got a stuck truck. So I think that gets us a truck. Perhaps we should try and do that. Right, so we want to come out. We want to take our normal route, I think. Safely through there. Uh, possibly... Clear the avalanche, or do we... We want to try with the off-road. I think we need to go sort of the, the safer, flatter route. Without being too much of a little pussy. <laughs> We've got to get over there, so... Hmm, possibly out and around, actually. We'll try that. Anyway, we need to head out either way. I always seem to be facing the wrong way as well. well I always feel like I am. Because I like to go this way. Good start. <laughs> that that doesn't count towards the damage that we've not got to get, I don't think. I hope anyway. Yeah, we do a lot of scout work, it's been a while since we've been out in in the step. I mean, we normally take the truck to take the, uh, the Tuz, but that's why I thought I'd mix it up. Something a bit different. And as always, thank you all for the support on the on the series. We do greatly appreciate it. Those of you that are coming back and checking in. If I stumble across things, I am trying to do a little tutorials on on the things I find, just something a little bit different, something extra for me to uh, try and sort of break out into and do other things. And I think if I find something, it's, it's good to share it because not everyone obviously watches Let's Play series, but they like to find things and have a little bit of help. And I, I'm not a fan of the clickbait, so I don't like to put down in like a, a 50 minute episode that that's how you go and find stuff. That's not my style. So 
So I have, as you'll have noticed, my trucks are a different colour if you've watched any of the tutorial videos, or the, the last tutorial one anyway. The first one was made out of the uh, series video. But the uh, UOD3s died for that. I started a whole new, <laughs> started a whole new uh, save and got it pretty much up to the same spot as this one. So then, if I do find something, I can make a better guide type video with new footage rather than running the footage that we're using here. More goal focused content on that one. But it does mean every now and then I have to jump on that save and, and do some things. quite possibly a, a better way to go but this is the route that we've sort of always taken always open to suggestions and comments you know I want to try and go and rescue the other truck because I think that's going to give us a new truck when we do it so we'll be cool to uh, obviously head out that way and then when we do that we'll we'll know whether it's a, a better route out there or not will we? so oh not over there over there Ourselves up over. Lovely, lovely. Pretty probably going on the side there. But last time I thought I could probably go along the edge of the water. Um, it took me an hour and a half to get somewhere, so. Tend not to uh, put too much faith in my uh, my ability to uh, reverse the water. We'll just quickly grab the fuel and we'll see what else is in here today. We'll take them just in case if we if there's something uh, better better was all about something better along the way then we'll. We'll swap it out. There we are. Fully stopped. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. He says. Now I don't know if we ever get to open up another another like outpost base here because we're always having to come from all the way over there and everything's like right the other side of the map an extra start and outpost on here would have been nice I think don't think we're going to get through that little gap with our truck are we so I'm going to try and drive through that, so let's see if we can't have enough stuff saves again. What are we like? How many updates in? Still getting them. Not as well as I'd hoped, has it? Right, 
so. That's going to be my better option then. Let's get the drone out, shall we? Because we're not going to get through that gap. Oh, we got. Oh, that's the avalanche there anyway, and I think that was the way I wanted to go, isn't it? See how we do. I don't, I'm sure someone will say if I'd have took deflate my tyres a bit, I might have gotten through there. But I did say I wanted to go the avalanche way anyway, so hopefully this will work out. Be mindful of the uh, <laughs> camber. really see what I'm on at the minute, which isn't fun. Oh, I'm not on anything. No, it's not good. Can you tell them playing Snow Runner again? <laughs> right. Use my winch to balance me a bit. Good. Right, so we'll clear that. There, we got something up there. So, this tr an old truck. Look at that old car in there. Blue like 1940s, 1950s thing. How wise is this route really gonna have been? Again, that's not what we want. We want. that. There we go. Oh, that's all safe. That's all safe. Okay. Get our way through here. Heading this way, just going to get myself up onto some uh, some safe land. I'll have a little look. So from here, yeah, I want to go through this. There's possibly swamps and waters, but we've not been there, so we'll go down through that, and then by the looks of it. Possibly around the back of that to try and get through there. And we'll have a look. How how deep do we think the water is going to get through there?
I bet that's pretty deep. Although, he's got something you can winch yourself free with. So, provided you can get up over there, could be a possible route through, or then have a look from either side. Coming down the left, or coming down the right. This isn't too bad. You got a step there, but then you come round, I guess. And coming up on that left hand side. What's it like? You get up there. Go around. I might try that. I might try up on the left. See if we can pass around it that way. Also, we haven't done any glassing, we haven't done any by knock and see if there's anything about. Nothing else to show for us. Right, let's go. I have to be a little bit more careful, or a lot more careful with the off-roads than with the scouts. You can't just roll it back over. But you can, you have to use a, use a jack, but... If it's constantly under that. What about if we... Got a little tire pressure. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Can we bump down here? Remembering that we reduce tire pressure, we will put that back up. We want to blow a tire. Slow and steady. So though the distance isn't great, and the overall task is of normal difficulty, you know, still got time in, but planning in to get there. Now the Tuz may be, like I said, the Tuz may be a, being a better option. I'm just trying to mix up some of the vehicles that we're using. So then, did I say, let's turn the engine off, handbrake on, we just want to have a look. Is there a part, I think, if we try maybe the water again, see if we can sort of push through there, head towards the, uh, the big tree. So down past this crag and then turn right. So not that one. Ooh. There it is. That wasn't good, was it? An anchor for this. Hopefully not. 
Ah, we get you. Extra weight keeps us safe. So it was there, wasn't it? Yeah. So I think that's... It's our way down over there. Should probably get our drone out and uh, check for upgrades and stuff as well. Maybe not, might have one around here. I say I don't know where any of them are. So if we do find one, it's always a bonus. I reckon there's got to be something in that nasty old rock formation up there. I want to find something just to see how you can collect things and pick them up with the drone. And see how that works. Oh, check, there's something around there just out of sight. Got nothing showing at the minute. Not even a drop, but there are there are those little tasks out this way as well, though. glass as well who wants to pop anything for me climb I think we already knew so now nothing much about let's head on out What do you think to the water? I mean, we can try and go around, but we dodged the water last time, didn't we? God, I wish I'd stopped doing that. I don't think that's a go. If that's showing that's getting deeper there already, I think we do go around. We've not got another truck out. I, I, I didn't even think to bring a second truck this time, because I said so normal. I certainly don't want to be risking it too much. Definitely should have come out with a smaller truck with a higher ride height. So we could have gone through the water a bit better. And we shall tire pressure again see if we can creep under.
Oh, be careful. our way through. Ooh. Now I think them rocks are going to be a bit naughty for me, aren't they? Sells an anchor out somewhere. Nope, not your own. There we go. That sells an anchor out. I was about to get it up on the top there, but it's not allowing that. So. If we pull ourselves around a bit. And then I shall winch from the back. So pull us up that way. play ball is it right it's a good job I always bring so many of these anchors because I use them a lot <laughs> there we go sorry about the uh Slightly dodgy up close camera angles. Wow, we've used up a lot of fuel. Right. So now I want to reinflate. And the thing is, you have to stop to do that. If you could do that on on the go, that'd be nice. <coughs> Excuse me. fine with the water levels. Just gonna go with those rocks. There we go. Cool. Again. Deflate. <laughs> and hopefully creep under if we can. Yeah. 
anything about. Of it. We'll keep heading on in the same direction. I think I'm just going to quickly go to morning. I'm surprised you haven't come across any airdrops. Seems slightly suspect. Anything in a slightly awkward position behind us? If uh, previous sounds have taught us anything, that's where the, uh, the upgrades usually are. Where am I going? Left looks better, it doesn't go left around there and then straight on rather than right. Is that a, is that got excited? We go over there. We've got a bridge and an airdrop by the looks of it. How difficult will that be for me to get to from where I am? Oh, it's a bit out of the way, isn't it? Okay. That's not one for today. Shame. I was thinking we could have got a, a second job in, but I think this has taken <laughs> long enough. And I don't think we're going to have the fuel to really go off and do much extra after this. I need to remember to uh, make sure we have... Oh, we got an airdrop over there. That's not too far away. Another bridge opportunity... Oh, upgrade. Another bridge opportunity. This is sort of where our stuff is. What's that then? Because that's not showing up. What is that? How does this work then? If I get it in here, let's trade. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant. Cool. 
That's definitely that's a game changer. That is. Oh, oh, ooh. bridge opportunity behind us. Ooh, that's four. That's got to mean there's something of some interest up here. Hmm. Maybe just for a later quest. So where am I? I'm over there. It's pretty cool. The like environment here. I need to use the drone more. Hence why we use it a bit this time. We always get it out. Ooh, another bridge bit there. Eighty percent. Need to get a little bit closer. Try and cover some more. We may be able to. Uh, I don't know. Can you use this then? Uh, there's a. There's a something over there as well. I can just see the box. Okay, so we should be able to use this to go and grab the upgrade as well. I think. Not hundred percent on that, but I think we should. if we can fly the drone into like a bridge area and deliver you know, drive it in there. yeah we can deliver the parts to maybe build the bridge before you get there to be able to collect up the upgrade that would be pretty sweet I'm glad they got rid of the beat. Okay, love it. How close do we need to get? 130 maximum. Okay, this we come down. Can I get in here and trade for the bridge? Yeah. Oh, you can't. That's a shame. That would have been a nice touch. We've only got to get about 50 metres further in and we can get the upgrade. Hopefully that's a good one. What part of this am I not exploring? Just a little bit to my left really, isn't it? So we get the drone as well. Get that over here.
it's nice. <laughs> it's not that way at all. It's <laughs> turn the map round. It's back and to me right. <laughs> That's where I need to be looking. Over here. What's this? Oh, a new objective. No task. Getting to know the area. First off, you need to get acquainted with the area, study the trails, and plan future expeditions. Follow the route. And we will update your map. Okay, and that will give us. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And that will. Uh, I reckon that's the thing that will take us around and to set up the bridges and stuff around here. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm assuming that is anyway. Yeah, we're trying to uh, scout out 100%, and then it'll tell us where we need to. Oh, look, there's a shed. Never been so excited about a shed before, but there's a shed. Oh, it's out of reach. Got another holographic ghost. I don't know what that's all about. No one's, no one's sort of told me what the holographic ghosts are all about yet. Right, I'm going to go forward. I'm going to see if I can get that upgrade. And then we'll just sort of head back that way a little bit. Get that last 2% and then that'll tell us where we need to put our hydro tool. Please let me grab the upgrade. Oh, we can't. Oh, no. That's that's just sad. That is just sad. All right. Then you have to come back with a small scout. Find a different route. Can come up there. Can you come up here? Is that a climb? Oh no, that's not a climb, is it? Yep, yeah, small scout. I bet that's a good upgrade. Whatever that is, I bet that's good. It's got to be. Okay, so what we need is to uncover that last 11.2%. Just back the way I came. So I do apologise for the, uh, the, the faffing and fluffing about. try and hit this bit if we come down near here I'm actually going to put a little um, marker down how do we set one nope that's not it let me set a little marker in here oh add a destination point there we go after I just turned myself around hopefully if I can get into that shadowed area the fog of war we get into that bit that'll be enough
Try a bit of high range. I don't know why we're going to wear low range. This isn't that hard to traverse. It's not that deep. There's gravel and rock underneath. It's pretty firm for us. Get up on the embankment. We should be able to get our drone out. Give that last little bit. that? What's the blue one? Do you reckon that's our eventual target or something? Seems so. Oh no. So what is that then? Okay, that's part of getting to know the area. Okay. So that's, that's why there's so many of these bits about that. They're all part of that, I think. And we've got another airdrop there. Right, so our target is in the middle. I think we'll just keep going straight on. Should be able to get around. It's pretty flat. Famous last words. <laughs> I'm to fit through there, am I? Bugger. Maybe over the top of that. Or maybe up and round. Better climb. Excuse me again. Deliver our supplies, the hydro monitoring system. That's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for installing the equipment. This will definitely help with finding the source of pollution. Search the area for the source of pollution. So have I got a drive to it? That's pretty much where I came from. Oh, we've got to hit multiple points to find it. Well, I'll be the first one I get. Start scanning. There it is. It's like the source of the contaminant. Checking out some copper. Got on the first one though, bonus, excellent. So Terra Scout Geological, 25, no, 26 grand. We got uh, 2,000 for maintaining to use less than three jacks. We didn't use one and take less than 25 damage from the from tire swamp. 
So it's, again, I'm not quite sure what type of swamp is. And we've got the rock calling kit, mate. Hopefully, us for this, that'd be nice. And we've opened up a new uh, gateway. A uh, total of 32,830 from reselling our parts. We will be heading back to headquarters. I do apologise for the long one. This is probably nearly an hour long. Uh, I did say we'd try and do shorter videos for this series, but if that's how long it takes to do, a, do an expedition, that's how long it takes. And I'd, I'd rather just stick to doing uh, the whole thing in one video. If they get really long, then we'll just have really long episodes. That's just how it's going to be from now on. I'd want to break them up. Uh, next time out, we might jump back to uh, Coconina and do some of the free room if free room is available it's not available yet if not we'll uh, obviously carry on with expeditions uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have give a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again very soon bye bye